morning. Let's call the regular July 27th meeting of the Granby Housing Authority Board of Commissioners to order. And we'll begin uh, by looking and approving the minutes of June 22nd, 2022. So if you all have a chance to look through that, we can start with that. I mean, just a question have we checked the property out behind that we own for that across the street yeah, yeah. you have that as part of your report uh, or update? I, I have um, what but yeah I do have that do we have to prove something later no, no? can I ask if anybody uh, has uh, taken the uh, policy for the dental and the I, I, I signed up for it did, did the other anybody else not yet. Okay. I just was curious to know if they had done that. I think we had two people who were eligible, right? All four of us are eligible. All four of you are? Mm -hmm. you, the Housing Authority only has to pay for the two ma maintenance staff. Shelly and I have to pay for it on our own. Because okay. Full time? Is that what? That's because okay. they get, yeah, they get yeah. benefits. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay. I make a motion to accept the, uh, minutes of the meeting on june 22 for the granby housing authority second any further questions no nope. okay all those in favor aye. aye aye unanimous minus joe who's absent today next on our agenda is uh tammy's report do you want to do the executive session ones while we're still doing minutes mm -hmm. um we're going to do the uh, me uh, the bridge ones yeah okay if i could add it to that we uh we had an executive session on june actually it was june 22nd 20, yeah june 22nd so that's right so i got that wrong didn't let's I? Mm -hmm. change that I on our it. notes okay we had an executive session after our regular meeting on june 22nd um we have the minutes that diane prepared for us we just roll through that and um have any questions if not we'll entertain a motion to approve motion to approve the minutes of the executive session held on june 22nd 2022 second any other questions if not all those in favor aye, aye. aye. and just as chairman today i would just like to announce to the uh, to the community and the, that we we did approve a three-year contract uh, for our executive director tammy bebo at that meeting uh, that will start it on july 1st 2022 when we'll run through june 30th 2025 um, we approved this unanimously we're all in favor of supporting tammy as the director for the next three years mm -hmm. congratulations tammy thank you Now to your report, Tammy. Not my report. All right. Um, we have one vacancy here at Finns Hill. Um, we anticipate two more coming up um, before the end of the summer. Um, we have uh, you know, two people that are moving on to other facilities. Um, so we have that maintenance been dealing with that. Ma there are no real issues here at maintenance wise at uh either of the facilities um yeah i know i don't like my phone okay. <laughs> yeah but we want people to hear oh, all right so um there are no major issues either facilities um jim and dakota have been working hard to get things finished they're currently um working on the um you know lining everything up for when the arpa funds are They've been approved. We're just waiting for the fish numbers to come through so we can, once we have those numbers in Cap Hub, then we can turn around and we can actually get the work done. So right now, Jim's getting quotes and um, getting everything in line for 
um, that to go quickly once we start. Um, the telephone company and the cable across the street. So once uh, Jim went over and looked at it and he spoke with the guy um, and the guy from the telephone company, Terry, said that they actually aren't installing the cable. It is another company, so the other company has to be out to us, which they have not done so yet. Um, so it's kind of in a limbo. They haven't done anything. They haven't, um, but the Castle Crown, which is the name of the company, hasn't uh, gotten in touch with us yet, or Crown Castle. Um, so that's, that's kind of where that's at. So is um, that something we need to later um, no I, th I think it's just a matter of there's already an easement there and Jim just wanted to make sure that what they're doing in the digging isn't going to be so he's going to work with it but he said he would come back um, and let the board know you know what was going on so but he don't doesn't anticipate any issues no he because he, he's he just doesn't want them digging from one corner diagonal he wants to make sure they disrupt our property as much as little as possible so he just wants to be on touch you know with that um, our hallway project is finished um, <clears throat> we do have to vote um, it's the next thing on the list to um, it's a partial payment for the company um, and do you like how it came out yeah they they did a good job um, at first I didn't like the bubbles but then I bubbles? became so the new flooring is, is has yeah has little bubbles on it and you don't realize how much of that material is actually out in the world until you real start looking at it um, it's on walkways it's on stair treads it's it's kind of everywhere I was afraid that they were gonna trip on it you know where their walkers would get hung up on it but there haven't been any issues on it um, I've noticed it in other areas where there's a high traffic of what are they for um, the, the bubbles. bubbles or to the bubbles the bubbles I call them little bubbles yeah. little round things um, they're to stop slips oh. so okay. um, so anyways they did that the, what the only problem is that they when they taped the hallways up to do the asbestos removal when they tore the stuff down they ruined the, they scarred the malls and they pulled up part of the stuff so the walls need to be fixed we got a quote from a painter on fixing the walls now um, it's been submitted to the company okay. and um, they'll decide whether they want to have us fix it and we take that price off of what we owe them or if they will send somebody out to fix it themselves that's in every hallway uh, it's in every hallway that they worked in yes oh, no. so and and it was the tape I mean you have to use really good tape to hold that stuff down oh, no. but tearing it up because of you know it tears the painting the, the paint off and part of the they must have anticipated that happening right I would have thought so if you but but then again I didn't think of it of course I've never dealt with anything like yeah. that so mm -hmm. I would think that it's um, something you would have to you would think we're gonna ruin the walls yeah. but the tenants are happy from as far as you know and uh, as for the flooring yeah the hallways the way the hallways are no because the hallways are part you know they're so we still have more hallways to do right oh yeah how many how many did we, we did do? six we did six we did six up and down yes yep. first and second floor yes the third so floor for there were three two mm -hmm. I think that had that have yeah. third yeah. floor yeah. Oh, okay because they have sellers so we have to approve the payment is that it yeah so what we're what we need to do is we need to approve the payment of thirty nine thousand seven hundred and ten dollars which is the partial payment um, for the work that they've done already so this covers what they've done not anticipating what they have to do next right the next ones right this okay. is what they've done so the total contract was fifty seven thousand hmm. so this um, 39 is you know just the partial payment on okay, why would we pay them when they haven't really finished the job well they they hold a retainer back okay so of it. why is like it? every project they have they hold five percent back um, till warranty and closing um, but the oh. paper okay yeah Gloria's showing me that this oh it's there okay um thank you so the because 
you know, it's partial payment. It's normally this partial payment goes off in the beginning, and that gives them kind of the payment for the material that they've ordered. Mm -hmm. So the retaining is for them to come back and. So the re the five percent is for the closing and warranty, which is a year from now. Um, but the difference between the th um, what is it? 41 to 57, 16,000, that's the difference that they'll hold up and figure out who's okay. paying for what. And if they're paying for it, then we owe them that money, that difference. And if they want us to do it, then it's a negative change order. And what they do is they take what we've paid out and we take that off the cost of what we owe them. And this is only for the hallways they've done already right. Mm -hmm. right not the others nope so when we do the others we'll make sure that it's in there for repairing the hallways <laughs> how many left so we did six out of the there's 16 14 there's 16? 14 in the front 14 in the back yeah, but you're paying 16 them 16 there's you're 16 paying them more than half of their total right is what I'm for material Okay. Yeah. That was the, the cost of the materials. Say, but you have more than six left to do and not as much money. I mean, well, this this amount of money, this 57000 was just for the six hallways. Yeah. It wasn't with that because that's the oh. amount of money we had okay. in the project. Okay. We didn't have enough money to do all the hallways. Okay. Okay. Do we have them scheduled to do the next any more? No. Not yet. Not, no. no, we not don't even time. have them. Until we find some money. Right. Okay. Kind of Maybe out. at the end of the meeting we can just take a peek at one of the hallways sure. that was done. Yep. If everybody feels that's good. Yeah. You you've seen yep. it, but I've seen it. Can we it's look at your, your hallway? hallway? It's his Should hallway. Look at, my hallway. look at Don's hallway. <laughs> Make sure he's keeping it up. All right. Yep. <laughs> well, I make a motion to uh, submit a payment of thirty nine thousand seven hundred and ten dollars to the Continental Flooring Company for the uh, six hallways that have been renovated at this time. Second. Second. Second by Diane or Don. Any other questions? Inform information we need? If not, all those in favor of the motion? Aye. 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 Approve unanimously, Tammy. All right. And the other, um, the other thing I wanted to let you know is Rise Engineer, um, a year ago, um, with our a ACH pumps, some of the problems that we've been having rise engineer came in and did a looked at everything we had this big powwow here where we had everybody from the state and everything here um and they went through and they needed to have some um gfcis replaced so that's the rise engineer paperwork um and it's just to let you know that they have come in they are almost done he and i talked to josh this morning he anticipates that the final breaker will be put in tomorrow um we did not have to pay for the installation of the four new circuits. Um, Rise covered the cost of that. Good. Good. So. Good. That's really all I have. How's the lawnmower business doing up at um, I have Hillside. not had any complaints on the lawn up mm, there. That's great. Except for the first one and we haven't heard anything and what company's doing that uh d boven lawn property okay. out of hadley they come every two weeks he comes every other wednesday yep okay yep yep and just any updates on the fans and the, the um fans? so the fans they are um you know, we put that in with the ARPA funds and they approved it so it's just a matter of waiting to get the numbers I can't do anything without the fish numbers you know not being assigned to them so Jim has still got that and he's still working on it and getting things ready so once they give us the numbers I think we're going to be full swing and a whole lot of stuff going on here so they're going to um, move the unit yeah, in they're going to they're going to they're going right? to they're going to take the ceiling fan down, move it over the three inches I think it is, and put the new fan up, and then they'll put a cap on the old. Oh. Yeah, 
Yeah, but so they're going to put new fans in? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But is there a joist three inches away? It wouldn't likely be. I mean, that's not even likely. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't know. So we don't know until they that open it up. That could get more sure. tricky mm -hmm. because you're going to have to support that thing somehow. Yeah. And if it, it was in a joist three yep. inches away, you're not going to have another one. Yep. Yeah. Come on in. We're having a meeting. Hi, Jan. Hi, Jan. Hello. I just want to drop it. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I'll put it over there for you. Okay, Have you seen you. Jack today? Huh? Have you seen Jack today? Yeah. His niece was calling looking for him. Oh, okay. Okay? Yeah, he's around. Hi. All right. Hi, Jim. Okay, so that's kind of an on hold situation yeah. until we get the fish number. Yep. I think that could get tricky. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it could open up to more of, you know. There's no chance you're going to find asbestos in those ceilings, right? Oh, we have to run asbestos test. Oh. And if we That's find it? That's why it jumped from like $8,000 to $21,000. Okay, so that's already kind of built in? Because yeah. of the asbestos? Yep. If we don't need the it, we don't. Of we have asbestos. to have it tested. No well, that would be in the, in, that'd be in the insulation, right? Mm. That would be, um, actually, I think it's the, um, the when they did the heat pumps, it was the asbestos. Uh, joint compound that they tested Ooh. so hmm. we're looking at things mm. so we don't know until we open it up no nope. and we've never put a new fan in anywhere and nope. have an idea oh geez no nope. I'm just more and more thinking that a box fan and a stand up fan I in know. it'd be so much cheaper for us I yeah. know tabletop fan yeah is that a possibility mm. still or is that no. was that anything's a possibility it, it depends yeah. on what we run into well I mean, we could take the easy way out, or you know, the cheaper way out, and save money, and and say we're not putting fans in the bedrooms. We're gonna buy everybody a tabletop fan, or go on there for a box fan, or, or you know, whatever it is, um, and then you've saved all that money in, in moving it because you can take the fans down and just put the cap on them. Is the there other fans are in the bedroom, right? Mm -hmm. Now there's a ceiling fan in the bedroom and kitchen. And the kitchen, but the ones in the kitchen aren't the are not far an enough away from the smoke detectors where they're not the issue. Would it be easier to move the smoke detectors? No. Okay. No. So we're not they're not they're not the smoke detectors like at home where you just attach them. Uh, they're all wired. Oh, okay. Hard wired. How likely is it that if you do one unit, that all of them are the same? I would think they would be very similar. If there's an issue with I would one, say I would think much okay, similar. so it's like yeah. okay. we won't know until it gets right. started. So we're going to do a test one. Yeah. Once you do it, they're going to. How about in one of the empty ones that is currently? Well, once we have the, yeah. The you make mine the test department. They're looking for the. They have to wait for the fun. Yeah, right. Because through. no matter what, it happens a lot. I have every night. Summer, winter, yeah. all so year round. All year we round. We can't do that with uh, without the money. Okay. Just to move the air around and yep. Because the heat pump, when you have it on heat, you have a hot spot. Yeah. When you use it as an air right. conditioner, I mean, I you have a cool spot. My fence, they don't circulate. They're not strong vent. enough to circulate so the air around. Okay. Right. They sit on the floor. Okay. Are we? Uh, so okay. we're at a standstill on this, right? Yep. But yeah, we have to keep that in mind that we might have to switch gears. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. And the tree trimming, that's up. I have the quotes. I've, I've got the three quotes, and as soon as I have a fish number, I'll let them know who. Are the quotes similar to this? Price listed uh -huh. here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, in fact, one of them, um, I, honestly, I think they all probably went up anywhere from the lowest one was $300, and another guy was like 500 So, but they were pretty similar in the prices. Some local bids, I hope? Yeah, they're all local. Good. Um, so, how soon do you think the fish monies will be awarded? They, um, when I asked him about it, he said that they are working on it, um, but they're because every housing authority in the state got this, they're backlogged. So, okay, kind of going. If you start at A and you're at G, yeah, okay. Oh, is that like that? You know, okay. But well, we know West Brookfield. Okay, no. so. <laughs> So you're anticipating a couple more, three three vacancies at Fins Hill now? Yeah, I think we're going to end up with kind of like a chain reaction. We have a couple um, requests for first floor units. Um, so I so think, that you know, people gonna, are going to be? We're going to be moving people around for a, a couple months at least. So. Good. Okay. So each time the vacancy happens, you have to go in and paint and do 
the whole unit over, you know, re well, yeah, refurbish it, it a little bit. Re yeah, I mean, it, it, it all depends on what it needs. The one that, the one vacancy we have right now, she really kept her apartment nice. However, the flooring needed to be redone because the person before her had an animal and the floors were, um, you know, you could smell it. Right. Okay. So we had the floor stripped and rewaxed. Mm -hmm. So. Um, so it just depends. Just dep yeah. every unit is different. It's right. you know you don't know how much you're spending on it. How many requests do you have for a first floor? Two. And are the two vacancies? Or One is. One is. So you draw a number? <laughs> huh? No, it's whoever turns their paperwork in first. We go first come first serve. I we date it was on that stamp. list. Oh, not for not if you're a tenant oh, here. If you're a tenant here switching. and you're requesting okay. a transfer, yep. then when you when we get all of the paperwork complete, we date and time stamp it. So do you have uh, tenants uh, applications to come here outside oh, yeah. of of us? So which oh, one yeah, has we priority? Have, okay. We have 5,700 people on our list to come here. We have plenty of people what? that it's just a matter of getting through. We always just got to build more housing units. That's it, right? That's right. For us old folk got to start clicking off. No, no, no. <laughs> Not like that. Wow. Oh, just have to build more housing. That's 5, it. 5,700? Mm -hmm. Wow. Maybe we could build some housing down the, across the street across down the street in there. our... Little one bit one bedroom thing. Yeah. Okay, so who has priority? The tenant that's already here or the tenant? Oh no, the that that's the list of people that want to get into Granby housing. And say they want a first floor apartment and one of your current no, tenants. So no, so we have a if I have a current tenant and they want to rec they have a medical request okay. for a first floor apartment okay. and, and it's documented and it's justified and it's granted. The first first floor apartment I have, I offer it. And to a, to, a, to to whoever an is asking tenant. for a request. Yeah. Co reasonable accommodation and then I would end up if because obviously they're on the second floor then I would be adding a new person okay. to Granby housing from on the second, second floor, floor. That makes sense. So, okay, okay. Well, moving on next is the commissioner's report commissioners Don? yes commissioner's report um, we had an issue I, things have been really quiet nobody's Good. been bothering me since our director put out a notice which saved my ass in more ways than one but there was an issue that came up this weekend um, about some one of the tenants had taken a malfunctioning or non-functioning refrigerator and put it in one of the hallways and it was pretty rank and a lot of tenants were complaining about it, you know. So, I, Tammy, has that been, did he yeah, do it? Yeah, it's been resolved. It's been resolved? Mm -hmm. Good. This was an extra refrigerator somebody had? It was a, one of those little apartment sized boxes. Do we have a tenant who can move a refrigerator? It's just one of those little, little square boxes. Little, I didn't dorm, know it was a little dorm, dorm, yeah, there you go. Oh, dorm refrigerator. It's a small dorm refrigerator, not. So it was removed anyway. So it's been taken care of, yeah. Okay, so it's non-issue. Okay. Non-issue then. Okay. How about the it? complaints that we had last time about a tenant? I sat down with the tenant and went through the lease article by article and made him sign that uh, initial each article stating that we had talked about it. So he can't say that he did not know. It, so. Has it continued or has it? Is it changed? To my knowledge, it hasn't continued. He's been better. He he's still, um, he's still not, is he going into he, apartments? He, no, no. He's staying out of everybody's apartments. Um, he's still, to my knowledge, um, is still asking for things from, you know, he'll ask for cigarettes. And I just tell them, tell them no, J yeah. it, it, you know, just tell them no. And um, but I think that it's gotten a little better here. He realizes he can't wheel around with his radio really loud. Um, so you know, I said you have to be mindful of your neighbors. You don't want your neighbors upset with you. He didn't know this beforehand. I, well, I'm sure he not did. assuming anything anymore. Yeah. 
He strikes me as being a very entitled individual. Well, um, did you, if people have complaints, have they made anything in writing? Have they put anything in writing? Of the complaints? Yes. Not since last board meeting, no. Okay. And has Mary been happier? Um, I haven't heard from her, so I'm thinking so. Okay. I would think mm -hmm. it must be all right then. Okay. Good. So. Don't assume well, anything. She well, was kind of <laughs> well, sometimes that's all it takes stressed. is a conversation right. and, you know, right. frank conversation and, you know, then follow-ups and it connects. So yeah. hopefully it stays on course. Anything else, Don? Nothing. Okay. Thank you. Next we have a couple policy reviews and or to approve the noise ordinance and the anti-bullying. We start with the noise, which is much shorter. Um, we have in front of us the following policies put in place to establish noise. guidelines for disturbances due to noise. As per your lease, section 9, tenants obligations, paragraph H, tenants must, ref this is in their lease, right? This is in their lease. Tenants must refrain from making or creating loud is that loud noises? It should be loud noises. Loud, loud noises. Loud I thought noises, it was just noise. Which unreasonably disturb or are likely to disturb neighbors. So if it's in the lease, why do we have to do a policy? Because we don't have, there's no set times. Okay. And I oh, figured okay. that if you added yep. times into yep. it, okay. then it. Okay. And the hours between 10 p.m. and 7 a.m. are being designated as quiet hours at the Housing Authority. Televisions, radio, stereos must be kept at a level which will not be heard in your neighbor's apartment. You should probably add phones, right? Because can't they play music? Or do you think? No, that's, yeah, that's true. And, because no, people will say, oh, that's not on the list. Well, yeah. it's still noise, so. Yeah, noise so maybe we need to make it more general. Um, okay. Um, do you want to add that? I don't know if you add stuff or just make it more devices that, I don't know, you know? I'm just saying, anything you say, someone's going to say, oh, but that's not it. Um, all right, so, because he'll play his bongo drum. Or any, exactly. or any other. Exactly, or, uh, you know. Um, all right, so any transmissions or noises or. You could just say television, radio, stereos, and any other yeah. device that would create sound. Sound I don't must be kept at a level. Well, it's simply noise. Noise must be kept at a level which will not be heard. Oh, yeah. There you go. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. They're gonna. They're gonna look for a loophole. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. So. Okay. So you have all this policy, but you don't have any. Um, if you don't behave, mm. what's gonna? You have to have some kind of consequence. Consequence. If this. Uh, yeah. If, if this continues. Well, yeah, like this one, what will happen? Yes, the same no with that. Yeah. yeah. There's no consequence. Uh, and maybe we don't need it Is for noise. I don't know. Does it go in the file as a... It, uh, well, it goes in a file. They get a letter from me stating that they have broke a rule and my basic thing in the bottom all of, of all of the notices are if this... Well, maybe you could put that yeah, if, in if the bottom this, here. Um, if behavior continues you'll leave us no choice but to pursue a 30-day notice think that needs to, to be in the policy, don't you? Well, if that's a general thing, though, right, mm -hmm. that pertains to anything, I would just right. say... Um, well, it should be stated yeah. on the policy that there so. is a consequence. Whatever that consequence is, that's... I, I don't know, but... Um, any violation will be documented and and put in your file. All you violations will be documented and could leading, could... I wouldn't get too threatening with it, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah but, you I mean, know... Could result in... Um, uh, I'd have to get the wording from the yeah. lawyer to make it. I think you yeah. should put it in there, yeah. Well, anyway, I think you should have something yeah. in there. Uh, you know, you're going to have something. Well, any kind of violation will be dealt with by executive director and then uh, dealt with appropriately or, you know, I don't know. What, what do you have in other ones? Do we have it, anything in the other kind of, any other policies that say that? Uh, general I, policies, no. No, so. I, no. 
This is a different kind of policy, though. This is, you know, kind of holding them accountable for their behavior. Well, maybe well, that's all, what it should say. You will be held accountable. <laughs> they're all. That's what all the policies yeah. are. They're all yeah. behavioral. Yeah. Okay. Well, you'll come back to something. This, you know, this one is the hard one because the lease says creating loud noises, but a loud noise to me and a loud noise to somebody else are completely different. Well, you, you can't certainly say, you know, it's the decibels. That's why I put in, you know, televisions you can't be heard within your neighbor from your uh, you know, from your neighbor's apartment. Yeah. Um but you know, and you have the time frame on it. So anything you know, I mean, unfortunately, anybody has the right to play any music outside during the day because this is their home. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just like I have a right to play it in my yard, they have a right to play it here. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, I get it upset some of the people, but it, it's not like it's profanity. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it, the, the music isn't... Well, what if it is? I mean, some of the music is profane. You know, it, well, um, we can't. So we we aren't putting it. We can't. It in. No. We can't. You can't. Okay, so we, we can't, can't regulate okay. what they listen to. I'm just saying, his music, so far from what I've heard, from when I, I hear it, isn't could be a whole lot worse than what it actually is. Mm -hmm. Well, but it's not. Um, anyway, just some you know docu documentation of complaints will be noted. Period. Because the only way you're going to deal with this is if another tenant complains right. to you directly. Right. Yep. Then it has to be dealt with. And again, I, I don't know how much you want to get into this is the first thing happens, this is the second, this is the third, and it's all progressive discipline, but I don't know if you have progressive. Is progressive discipline part of the, the regular tenant policy here? Well, no, it's, I mean, it, the lease is pretty cut and dry. If you do this, you're you're in violation and you get a 14 or a 30 day notice to quit. It's the stuff like this that's kind of ambiguous in their in their leases that you know, it's unfortunately like the harassment. It's how do you prove harassment? What's harassment to me is not harassment to you. Mm -hmm. Well, so can you put some can you put something in about then violations will be dealt with through uh, your each violation lease. is is dealt with individually and um, in regard and there's and there is a clause that the lawyer has stated before that could lead up to and including um, you know eviction. I just have to get the right wording from him. Well, put something in yep. there. Generic. Um, That's simple. Yep. Yeah, to simple. The point. Yeah. And then we could review that and. We can Things review have been it. Okay. So this basically is a result of the issues we heard last time that this came up, right? right. So if things have quieted down from your conversation, then mm -hmm. it's not a real emergency thing to do right now. A month can certainly wait till you add that comment in, then we can vote. Right. No, I'll have it for next month. Next month. And then we can. Okay. Okay. All right. Anti bullying policy is a little bit lengthier, thanks to who's ever put all this Sorry. together. But it's okay. I mean, you've covered a lot of things on here from what I've read. I remember this looks familiar yeah. to my school experience. Where I got it from one of the school sites. Hey, yeah. school, isn't, isn't bullying um, protected in mass law? Mm -hmm. In schools only. That's what we've learned. That's what I didn't. Schools only. I left when it was starting to become an issue because of the incidents out Hadley, you know, when everything became an issue there. I don't, oh, yeah. you know, I don't know what, so uh, how much that is occurring now and how we're dealing with it, but. I guess in general, I, I don't think we should call this an anti-bullying policy. I think we should call it a behavior policy. I just think singling out bullying is too, too limiting because, okay. I don't know, I mean, I'm just, Oh, he's got, so he's got I know, and everything here is about bullying. So yeah, I get it, but we're not How touching about, harassment. Uh, bullying, not, harassment. I, I mean, that's yeah, just. I the don't know. I, I just have a feeling that if you, you know, pigeonhole one, you're going to open the door for another. I, you know what I mean? Just, just a thought. But everything here is about bullying. So, mm -hmm. well, that's what we were dealing with. Okay. 
again, look at the, the definitions. They are so, you know, they're, they're something different to everybody. Mm -hmm. I, I find it really hard to pigeonhole this one. Well, it is, but I think it's, it's pretty complete, so it I is. think it's as complete as possible because we can Except question harassment and... What will happen? Yeah, we don't know that yet, but obviously uh, that's another whole thing because maybe once a bully, always a bully. You never know. You know, it depends on uh, people are just difficult with some people and to find with others, you know. Mm. It's just it's all relationships and how they feel or what someone has done and... Yeah. Um, but it's just unacceptable, you know. I mean, the key thing is, it's just unacceptable. Well, and sometimes people aren't aware that they are doing what they're doing. You know, it depends on. Um, you could say something to me; it doesn't bother me. But you could say the same thing to somebody else, and it does. So mm -hmm. yep. it's all individual cases mm -hmm. you have to deal with. And, yeah. Um, well, this. It's not bad, I don't think, even though it's pretty complete, very complete. Um, doesn't hurt to have it. Okay, so what are we going to do about what will happen? Uh, that's where I was, um, because you have to be able to prove it, you know, and that's where you get into mm -hmm. the. Wait, who do you have to prove it to? You, or well, it ha is it, there? Yeah, it would have to be that you're, you know. You, you have to investigate and realizing that it is a form of bullying right. that you or someone is doing to someone else and it needs to be corrected and stopped and uh, not continue. Right, and if it does continue, I... I See, the, at the I end, that she has the responsibilities, the which is part of what you're saying. Right. Um, so once this is all, the responsibilities have been uh, implemented and it continues, then there has to be a consequence and that's where we are not, we don't have all a right. consequence. So I think it's... Um, just under what will happen, it, you know, it's just it is unacceptable, and if it con continues, um, it's subject to eviction. Right, the same kind of thing. It right. affects your life here as a tenant here, right. and it might not be able to continue if it doesn't does, doesn't stop. I don't know if we could have the same the wording. same wording on right. both of these: the noise and the bullying. And DHCD backs that up. I have to put this. I, into oh, them. Okay. That's what I learned with the okay. grievance thing is yeah. um, she has to submit this to them to, for approval. Dakota, yeah. could you just hit that alarm off, please, on my phone? Thank you. Why is your phone alarmed? <laughs> Every two hours, I have to be dropped in my eyes. But the key thing is that you're okay. you realize that you've got to take this on as it's yeah. listed in the procedures that. It's not going to. Remember the last time I talked about going out to some outside agency to do it? You know, that's that's not going to. Mm -hmm. You know, it's got to be dealt with on site here. Right. Yes. Like, yes. I right. had to deal with things in school exactly, not <laughs> dependent on anybody else because right. this is yeah. where the kids are, this is where the tenants are, where they live each and every day. Yeah. So, I mean, I didn't answer that because I wanted your input and I want to be able to turn around to go to the lawyer and say, you know, what is. What can I legally say and what can't I legally yeah well say. obviously bullying and noise are not equal right so you don't have to have the, you wouldn't have the same penalty for somebody making a loud radio as you would when somebody's being accused well, and found guilt and found guilty but right. it's still a, a, you know it's still a violation, violation of yeah. your lease mm -hmm. which I think that's what you try to refer to and get his or her opinion on that. That would be the easiest thing to do. Okay. Um, yeah. Because I realize, if, you know, if I'm living here and I'm not behaving properly and I can continue this, you know, I could be taken out of this place, right. taken away from here for right. me not correcting my behavior. My, uh, behavior. Yep. Okay. So both of those need some kind of yep. additional consequence type thing. And Tammy, I would also call the school and see what kind of form they have. Okay. Because kids would have to fill it out, or someone would have to fill it out, and it's pretty clear who did what, when, where, and how. They sign it and give it to you, and then you have something to go on. Without them writing a big, long thing of information that you don't really need to know until you investigate it, you know. Okay. I think it would be helpful for you. <coughs> Okay. So 
until next month, right? On both yep. of those? Yep. Next is the warrant report. It's $80 worth of vinegar, sorry. Uh, that actually kills the weeds. Uh, yeah, I yeah. know, yeah. It's worth of what? Kills weeds. Oh. What are we doing with sodium hypochlorite? That goes into the well, okay. into the water. The thousand dollars hillside lawn care. What is that That's for? That is. So that, that was it. Um, so that we had it three times he mowed last year, and then Dakota was on vacation, so I had him come down here and do um, part of down here, hmm. so they wouldn't complain. Okay. If you didn't bring your sodium hypochlorite. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Our solar operator costs again. I thought we were going to sell that. So was it that? Well, we sold the credits, but we still have the Cost. the monthly fee from them. Okay. You know, I, I, somehow it works out that we make out on it. However, I look at the five thousand dollar bill I'm paying them. Yet my electric bill was only four hundred for the whole month for everything. So mm -hmm. I know it's a lot, but I just, there I go, all right, whatever. Yeah. How come you had to change the locks and... Uh... I had a tenant request that the locks were changed, um, that, that her locks be changed, for, and she had a valid reason, so we have to pay it and then we bill her. Hmm. Okay. We also, when you move out of your apartment, you have to have it. So when he comes, I, we kind of get as much as, so we don't have to pay more than one fee for mm -hmm. him to be here. What was the railing issue at Hillside Heights? Yeah, so the plas they're, you know, they're those hard plastic railings and some of them have broken on the top. They're um, hazards, you know, for cutting people. So we took, we're taking the railings off of building three and we're using that what's left there for replacing the others um, and we're putting a different railing on that building. Gonna put and we're doing the work, it's we're just doing the supplies. It. That's just the supplies. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions of the members? Mm -hmm. on, on your state withholding and your, all that, how come you only have two people? Or is that everybody? There's two entries. Um, I don't do that. That's Gary. Um, okay. All right. So I, um, he does all the federal. All right. That's fine. I just. Well, one is the, so are you under the federal or are you under the state? I'm on the, the first page. It says federal tax and then state withholding and state right. unemployment. Right. So one goes to the federal for the, your withholdings. But does that for all of the employees That's for all here? four of us, yes. Yeah. Okay, yep. that's all I was wondering. Okay. And uh, Gary said he'll have his the financials for next month. Okay. Is he going to ever come in and see us again? Um, I'm sure at some point, unless you'd like for him to show up, then I can certainly ask him to be here. Well, it's kind of nice to have him once or twice a year. To, okay. To, you know, because we haven't seen him in... I can't remember the last time was. It was a long time. Uh, I think it was last year for the... Um, you said locks. On the last For the budget. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Really? Uh, I got it. Dr. Clark. on page six. Bottom. 26B, 24B. It's right here at Amherst Lock. What's C room? Right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Community room. 
Committee Room 36D. I don't think I see the red line from here. Oh, there it is. Okay, there we go. All right. Need a motion to approve the warrant report? Motion to approve the Granby Housing Authority warrant report for July 1 to July 31, 2022. Second. Second by Don. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All unanimous. Public comment. I have a public comment. <laughs> You're open. Did you sign up? <laughs> no, I didn't sign up. Oh but this is a, I, oh boy. I expected somebody to be here to say something. Mm. There's been uh, chronic questions about the third washing machine, fourth washing machine, <laughs> the one that isn't working. Yep. We What's going on with that? We spoke to him yesterday about it. Um, he told me that the machine needed to be replaced. Dakota spoke to him and he. Dakota feels that it just needs a part replaced, so he's coming in, on, I think, on Monday to go over things with Dakota and them. So, and we also have a dryer down because of the heating element went. Well, also with the dryers, been brought to my attention several times that there are person persons or person not cleaning lint chaps in the dryers when they're done. I don't. I, again, how do you legislate? How do you, you don't, can we have a notice put up? You don't. There's. The, I, I know. I get phone calls. So and so was in the laundry room, um, doing, yada yada yada. Please watch the video. So you take all that time and you watch the video, and and it's no, they're not. So it, the cameras are a help, but they're also the biggest hinder ever because they know that, um, you know, I can't watch to see who cleans trap who doesn't clean trap and um, you know, I know you can't you can't teach courtesy but I, I understand it so I the, you know I clean them when I'm done using it at home Bob cleans them before he uses them so it, it's um, you know it's just a personal thing that some people don't do it at all it's not yeah. their job yeah I you know honestly I, I can create a work order to make sure that Every day they go through and, you know, but they're used so much mm -hmm. that you do can't they, go in there and change it all. The do time. they check them on a daily basis? The, the guys? No, it's yeah. a weekly basis. Oh, weekly. So the user just needs to check it before right. they use it. I right. mean, it's, and the, it's, but there are people that don't. Well, you know, I follow them around the rest of the day just, to I make know. sure everything's okay. Do we have any kind of uh, insurance on those on those units? No. Maybe when we buy a new one, we should have a warranty or something. I'm I, sure there's a standard warranty that comes for a year with them. Right. You know. But these are. I mean, I've been here four years. They were here before I got here. Mm -hmm. The same no, ones. You know. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, Dakota and I this morning in the conversation, I said, you know, I would like to see getting one of those giant ones the double load ones because I think that there are more people that are overloading them because they don't want to spend oh. two dollars mm -hmm. you know and let's just stick everything in once mm -hmm. and then you would only have to do it once whereas if you had the oversized machine then they'd overload that that well yeah but you they know those take a lot right they can you know, take a lot more those can take a lot more and and you would have you two would charge of those? more probably you would too. charge more charge more <laughs> You know, you could for that one machine you could yeah. charge more, and then you have the regular little ones because okay. not everybody. How many dryers know. do we have? We have four dryers and four washers. Really? So you want to get one large capacity, and then the three small washers, and well, you wouldn't if you got a large one, you probably wouldn't two, be able two. to have three. Well, it would have to go space. on. Oh. It would have to go on the, this outer wall. Yeah. It wouldn't have. It, there wouldn't be room on the front. The yeah. Inner wall. Yeah. I, so you could just take the cabinet out and the... Are we due to replace any of them? To nope. buy a different one? No. Nope. You're just it's fixing the what you have? Right. It just becomes if the cost of fix becomes... I mean, I right. I question it now. Do, right. do I put $400 into one or buy another one? It's $800 for a, a used machine and he'll only give us a one-year warranty on it. And it's commercial size. And it's commercial size. Right. It's the same thing as what's here. But it, they're used at $800. 
Yeah. Who are you dealing with? We deal with Dan's appliance. Why do we have to buy used? You don't, but he that's he's he's been looking for a machine for me and that's the cheapest he can find. Is it uh, used for one year? Okay. Commercial grade. Yeah. And what's the cost of a new commercial grade? I you know, I don't off the top either. of my head, no. And what's the cost of a new average size? A commercial grade? No. This is what we're talking, an average size commercial washing grade. machine oh. to replace what we have in there because they're commercial. Okay. They're not like the one you would buy at home yeah. because okay. that's just a personal home. This is. Right. Okay. Do you ever deal with anything besides that? Yeah, we, we look bands. around. Yep. Yeah. Yep, we do. We look around. We had Mark's appliance and then Mark Pass. His business was you know, kind of moved on to Dan. We've been dealing with Dan. He worked at DG Gears for years. He comes highly recommended. Yeah. Good. It's just a matter of, you know, you, you can't find things out there. And mm -hmm. then right now everything's kind of uh, right. scarce. So is he coming with a part on Monday? So he's coming on Monday, I guess, to sit and look at it and figure out, you know, he'll look at it and see if it is fact that part and uh, and go from there. Okay. All right. You know, Anything else? Trouble with them and that just, no. I'm used to doing my laundry at such and such a time and there's four machines and now there's just three. I can't use do my laundry right now. The inconvenience of mm -hmm. well, just that's what happens. Well, you have a, yes. Are there machines down on this side? No. Okay. They have their own washers okay. and dryers in the in the apartments. Okay. You're probably so alarmed. I know my alarm is. <laughs> Some people must go to other laundry facilities. You you don't know. I have no way of knowing. You know if other people go to facilities and. That I don't know. No. I think there are a laundry thing place in Granby. They do well. <laughs> yeah, um, I think there are some people who their children take their laundry oh, home right. and do them, but yeah. um, not not everybody. Okay. A lot of most of the people that come in during the day, when the office is open, it's home health aides. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so. Anything else? Nothing else I have. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Again, I don't have a calendar with me. I gotta remember. I've got one. August meeting. Wednesday the 17th, Wednesday the 24th. I prefer the 24th. Wednesday the 24th. 10 o'clock. Gloria? Mm. 10 o'clock now? What, what do you want to do? Can it be All that's up to you okay, guys. I miss chair yoga every time. <laughs> On you a miss Wednesday. What? Chair yoga at the senior center. Yes, that was whining. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it? 10 o'clock. Oh, it's at 10. Um, do you want to do a different how long day of the week? It? How long? No, it's an hour. It's an hour. Mm -hmm. You want to do 1130 and then have a cookout after that? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. you have a cookout how for what? Just to have a, I mean. With the residents, yeah. you mean? Yeah. It would be um, kind of nice to do something summary with uh, like anybody would who wanted to come. We, can, we got a grill, we can put hot dogs and hamburgers or just hot dogs. Hot dogs is easier than hamburger patties, I think. But it's up to you. I think it'd be nice to have something like that. What? 24th at 11.30? Cook out the follow? Of course, it's only two, two days of the month, so I don't know which <laughs> But this time we got this one, so it was it was now. thirty with cookout. <laughs> yes, there's whining, more whining, lots and lots of whining. All right, it's so to be responsible for the cookout. The fourth, I don't want This was the fourth that. Wednesday, so yeah, the, so it's right. usually the second. It'd be the, the third. Fourth. Usually second so and fourth. The twenty fourth would be okay. What, you know what? It's just chicken. why don't you let us know? <laughs> and if not, no, it's we'll just it's want to do eleven thirty, and then we can do a lunch, or do you want to do it in the afternoon and have a dinner? No dinner. <laughs> I didn't know we were doing a cookout, but no, I'm just uh, presenting it to the board. You think it'd be good, Don? I think it'd be good. I think it'd be a great idea. Make it a simple you thing. Though? We had the picnic, and people kind of took unauthorized. It, it became more of a hassle than. Yeah. Well, it wouldn't hurt to try it. 
What simple it, it like? It did hurt to try it, remember, Don? Yeah, it got to be. And it became an issue for many. Yeah. What you was, know, what, I, you know, that's, you. what was the issue? Can People you were just taking things that were had been brought in and prepared for the cookout. And taking them home. Taking them home. They were taking them out of the fridge and, you know. Things were so disappearing on me left and right. Oh, well, don't put them in this well, refrigerator. Mm -hmm. You know. People were making things and bringing them in. Yay, this is great. And then someone took them. So. Well, don't bring them in here. You, can't, no you can't lock that anyway. Yeah, that's that's a problem. So Yeah, if they're just going to do hot dogs and potato chips or something, keep it simple. That people don't have to worry about making or doing anything. Oh, I was Unless gonna, we wanted to do something. Right. <laughs> I was going to do, I wasn't going to ask the tenants to do yeah. anything. I was going to. Just do hot dogs, Did potato salad, and well, I you know, drinks and as long as it's chips in another container and not in your coffee. Yes, that's yeah, cookies or whatever. Problem. You can get tubs of those I tubs of cookies, you know, bring, bring two or three of them in. And so maybe you could take that the funds for the cookout out of the laundry machine okay. surplus money that you have. Because we do have, you do have funds there, right? Mm -hmm. Now you're going to make some kind of notification? Yep. Tammy? Yep, I'll do that in a sign-up sheet. Okay. So but what time would that be? Like uh, after 11, an hour meeting? 11.30. We're going to meet? Meet at 11.30, so say 1 o'clock. Or 12.30? 12.30. Yeah. 11.30 meeting on August 24th, cook out at 12.30. Or thereabouts. So, okay. So, if you do hot dogs, you got to have a grill. I yeah. I, think that's so I don't. I think if you just stick with dogs and, and not hamburgers and mm. you know, because then you have hamburgers and you got to have different kind of rolls. So you can have rolls for everybody, and then <laughs> you don't know who's going to want what. I don't need <laughs> what? I don't eat hot dogs. <laughs> well, just do hamburgers then. I, do okay. do yeah, both. I don't I care. I'm just, I'm I'm just throwing it out there. Coli and all the other stuff you can keep it. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The hot dog is already preserved. <laughs> well, so yeah. much. Yep. Actually, so if you if you cook hot dogs, you don't need a cooking permit from the Board of Health. If you cook hamburgers, you do See? because it's yeah. That's well. That's what I was talking yeah. about. Yeah. The safety of cooking a hamburger. Yeah. Just get the frozen hamburgers. They cook well. You can go to Arnold's and just buy boxes. Wait, of them. those are different? They're considered different by the Board of Health? No. I don't know. If yeah. Board of Health no, but that. they're already formed and you just open them and slap them on the yeah, grill. Yeah, but it's the Board of Health you have to satisfy. I'm well, not we're charging doing... anybody money, so it yeah. doesn't work. It doesn't matter. Oh, we're yeah. not charging them, right? Not, yep. Yeah. As long as I'm not charging anybody for it, then you don't have to Yeah, we don't need to so do you that. Can have we don't have to do that. I'm just saying is if you had a food truck and you were going oh, okay. to go, like the fire uh, at our concert, which I should have brought a flyer in, um, the concert that we're having in... Uh, Next August. Week. Next week. You did bring No, it's not did. next week. No, that's not us. That's not you. No, that jazz bones, jazz thing, that's a, they have Somebody their own permit, not through ours. Okay. But when we have ours, Johnny and the Flashbacks, the fire department is doing a fundraiser, hot dogs and hamburgers, and they did a permit. They ran down and pulled a permit for it. So. Okay. But that's not, the next one isn't us. Okay. Wait, so what are we doing? So. <laughs> So, I, I'll, so I'll whatever you decide yeah. you want to do, yep. do it. Just let us know. Just so, so we can deal with it. If there's something you want us to do, bring. No. Stand behind a grill. Right. So what yep. time is it to call you? Oh, I don't know. 11? I'll stand behind the grill. It's 1045. 1045. No, I call it. It's 11 o'clock. That's not right. It's 11 o'clock. Yeah. Oh. Right. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? All in favor, aye. Aye. Down at 11.